that's kind of clever, I'll think about it. So, yeah. This episode... Hey, remember when Gobamon was a thing? Let's just hey. give some attention to Gobamon as, like, an actual Digimon. Yeah, just like, as, like, a species of Digimon. <clears throat> yeah. That's the thing, it's like, Gobamon is more adorable in this episode than he's ever been in Adventure. <laughs> Gomamon's great. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'll probably say yeah. it in the future. This is a good Gomamon episode. A doesn't I, even do anything. Yeah, I love Gomamon's design. It's so good. Oh, man. See, so yeah, in this episode, everyone's just reeling from the last bell, and they're like, okay, well, we have to, like, figure out how to get our spirits back. We gotta track those two Kanmon down. Let's swim. Oh wait, yeah. no, not yet. Not yet. They um What what are they doing? They're they're sitting around, it's like what do we do to find them? And the Izumi's like, I'll go find them myself. Yeah. Well I think they do see it like the two Kanmon fly to like another island. Cause we have a yeah. really good gag where the two Kanmon are just like flying off. But it's like they're getting really tired because they're rookies and they just suck at flying. So they just have to land on the next island over just to rest because, like, screw trying to make it the full way to the mainland. Yeah, even after, like, it's like they just started and it's like, oh man, we're tired. And the one flying at the front is like, oh, you guys suck. I'm not tired at all. And it's like, aren't you out of breath too? <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's like, like no, I'm just I'm... slowing down to keep pace with the rest of you. <laughs> yeah, and then they all just start falling out of the sky, and, like, the music cuts out, <laughs> and then when they fly back up, it cuts back in. Oh, man, it's so good. Like, I... Just who are responsible for the effing Toucan Mon in this show, just I feel like they nailed it. Yeah, these guys are idiots. I love them. I love them so much. <laughs> But yeah, it's like, oh yeah, two Kimon just fly off, and it's like, alright, well let's like get to that island. And these Gomamon are like, wait, no, don't. There's a bunch of like crazy whirlpools and they'll like smash you against the cliffside and kill you. And everyone's like, oh, well that's a problem. Yeah, it's like, we're water Digimon, we don't even try to swim past those things. Yeah, I think they specifically say it's like, yeah, these whirlpools didn't used to be here. They just suddenly appeared one day, and then, you know, we just got screwed, and we can't make it back. Yeah, and of course, Izumi's just like, okay, well, you know, we have to help them, right? You know, because I gotta be the heart of the team. We gotta help these poor babies. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, and everyone else is like, ah, ah, no, but all right, I guess. I, I guess we'll figure it out. We'll we'll try to do something. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can restore whatever's wrong to fix the whirlpools with, like, the data we've collected. Yeah, <sighs> which honestly, <sighs> yeah, fair enough. Like, maybe they could do it, I don't know. I well, know if it if wasn't the... for, like, you know, the actual cause. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's when they build a raft. So yeah, of course, it's like the cause of the whirlpools is like the wind spirit, the windy spirit just underwater causing them. And I guess it's like, it's blowing the water around. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, and it, it makes enough sense for it to be like, okay, fair <laughs> enough, but really doesn't like completely track when you think about it. It's an odd place to hide the bee spirit. I was thinking that too, though. I was like, yeah, why is the why is the wind spirit you know, at the bottom of the ocean? If this was where the war bee spirit was, then I feel like Azumi would be kind of screwed because I don't think it would accept her. <laughs> I mean, we, we've determined that it, anyone who finds it gets to keep it <laughs> until it's taken. Man, that'd be really funny if, like, Azumi found Ramon's beast spirit and just used it as her beast form. Yeah. And Ramon's just like, hey, what the heck, that's mine! And everyone else had the grossed-out reaction. <laughs> and yeah. she's just like, well, whatever works, I guess. Smash! <laughs> Jeez. So that's the other thing. It's like, of course we've established so far that, like, 
Jupe has the most potential of A1 in the group or whatever. But, like, this weirdly implies Izumi might also have a lot of potential. It's just Fairymon that sucks. I, so, so, yeah, as you'll find out, she, uh, she beast evolves into her new form, Shutumon or something. Yeah. What's, what's it called in English? In English, it's Zephyrmon, which I, we might well, just end up going with because it's easier. I'm gonna call it Zephyrmon because it's less dumb of a name. Um, <laughs> yeah, shoot, uh, I don't know. The uh, shoot two probably means something. Whatever. Um, but yeah, she transforms, and it's uh, she's the only person who doesn't lose control of her beast spirit at all. Yeah, just not even a little, huh? Not at all. It's like she has full control from the from the get go, and I I I don't know. I think it's because it's yes, it's her beast spirit, but it's still very human. Maybe like uh, the, yeah. the only the only like beast like thing about it is the head wings and her back wings. Yeah, like. I'd assume it's maybe it's just because it's like, you know, it's just not as wild naturally or whatever, so it's like, it's a more subdued beast spirit, so it's like easier to tame it. Ah, eh, no, it's, it is really weird that this is like the one time, like, someone doesn't have trouble controlling the beast spirit the first time. So it's like, why would you ever use Fairymon? Just use Zephyrmon immediately. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean that's a that's a good case for all of them because after you gain control of your beast spirit, it's like just just be spirit every time. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, at, at it's least stronger. with like yo Takuya and the others, I'd be like, okay, well maybe there's still like a threat they'll go out of control and they're like worried about it. But with Azumi, it's like, yeah, no, there's no reason. Especially because we've seen that Fairymon is like the worst. Fairymon can't do crap. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing she does in these episodes, like, if Fairymon doesn't even do anything in these episodes where she's the focus. Fairymon, like, does a wind attack to knock out, like, a like a water funnel that Ranamon brings up, and that's about it. Yeah, like, if, like, Zubi wasn't, like, the one to get the Digivice, it was, like, you know, only Junpei with the Digivice, Junpei would have, like, sniped Ranamon so hard with his cannon. Jupei yeah. will solve this problem so instantly. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, you know, it's like, oh hey, yo, we're fighting someone whose power is they go on a big war platform and just shoot water beams around. It's like, all right, let me just take a nice clean shot at them. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> But yeah, of course. I feel like I definitely did see this episode as a kid. Or if nothing else, like, a later one with a very similar premise. Because yeah. I feel like I do distinctly remember this. I'm pretty sure that it, it is Izumi who ultimately defeats Ranamon because the girl's gotta fight the girl villain. Yeah, that's... that's <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> Like, how do you would hate Azumi as a character or anything? She seems fine. But boy, this show does her so dirty. Holy crap. Yeah. She's Even... the only one who's, like, whose human form spirit just does nothing. Heck, she turns into Zephyrmon, and then, like, she beats up Ranamon a little bit, and then she evolves into Kalmarimon and grabs her, and then the only way... The only reason she gets out of it is because the kids are like, hey, wait a minute, if we yell insults at Kalmarimon and how, about how ugly she is, then we'll distract her, and it works. Yeah, so I actually got this image. The exact point <laughs> where, like, Koji is just like, hey, everyone, bow, badmouth her in order to distract her. Yeah. <laughs> Talk mad trash. <laughs> Maybe she'll let, uh, maybe she'll let Izumi go. This, like, image is literally labeled Frontier 16 Trash Talk. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she. It's like, oh yeah, your makeup's running. It's like, oh, you're stupid and ugly. And she's just like, and it works. And she just gets really mad and tries to attack them. Yeah, your <laughs> squid head is dumb. You're like, I think Jupe says, "How are you getting a boyfriend like this?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, ooh. <clears throat> Man, like, oh yeah, they're. There, there is a little Junpei moment that's not tied to this p moment in particular, um, but it's like everybody's building the raft, and then like Junpei's over like on the sidelines. It's like, hey, what are you doing? He's like, I'm drawing a blueprint for the boat. And I it looks got this really one too. Yeah, it looks really good and detailed. It's like, it's like I don't know. Maybe you guys should have. Actually, it's the, actually, the thing. Okay, the thing he drew looks a bit too extravagant for what they're going for. But oh yeah, Junpei, it looks like Junpei knows what he's doing. Yeah, like <laughs> Junpei could have like scaled this back based on the time and resources, but they should have totally let Junpei handle the like you know planning of this. Like yeah. Junpei really seems to get it. <laughs> Junpei, the artist. Yeah, exactly. Well, I think he's. So I think it's like his dad. I think his dad is a construction worker. Yeah. Or like, or like an architect or something. I, I don't remember specifically, but I think that's why. I think that's why he's so good at this kind of thing. Yeah, makes sense. Again, Junpei is the best party member. He is overpowered. <laughs> He's got, like, the boat plans and everything, you know, like, just give him, like, power and he will coordinate this team to success. Man, at first I looked at this, and it's like, oh, is he making, like, a boat with one of those little, like, side skids, you know? And it's like, no, it's a top-down view. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's, like, I, actually, I think that's the bottom of the boat. Like, he planned that out. Yeah, the bottom of the boat's on the left, and, like, under the side view is, like, the top down. So it's like, okay, he's got this to a T. Like, this is the exact thing he wants to... Jeez, like... Here's the thing. <laughs> there is an episode of Dr. Stone where they're, like... Or, I, I don't know if the episodes are, or a chapter or whatever, where they're just like, okay, let's build a boat. Because, of course, right? Right. It's Let me like guess. Senku wants to build like a like a big cruise liner or something. He <laughs> wants to build like a freaking like 18th century like proper like you know pirate arrow like ship. Oh, that's and, surprising. Yeah, it's like they start working on it, and it's literally like the first like major thing that's like too big for them to actually do. Like, it's a legitimate challenge. Like, it's more of a challenge for them to make the freaking boat than it is for them to make, like, a tank for, like, clarity. It's, like, insane. And it's like, oh. Yeah, it's... Oh, yeah, dang, I guess this is legit. That's pretty wild, considering they made, like, Senku was able to get them to build, like, basically cell phones. <laughs> yeah. Cause like what you know the principle, it's like, alright, the cell phones, you know, you get the batteries, you get the components or whatever. With a boat, it's like, okay, what do you need? It's like you need like a bunch of wood and you need to mold it in a very precise way, and there's like no real like way around it. You just have to like, you know, have all the manpower needed to brute force this <laughs> massive project. And if anything is just like an inch off, the thing will just sink. And it's like, <laughs> oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, alright. Just gotta make sure it's watertight. Yeah. I mean, of <sighs> course, they eventually do it, but jeez, that like, might be one of the bigger undertakings of the series. It's crazy how hard it is. <laughs> Yeah. I gotta watch more of that series. I think the next season, like how many? I don't know how many seasons have come out since the first season, but I think there's a couple at this point. I know at least season two is out and finished, if nothing else. And that's yeah. like I believe that goes to the end of the like Stone Wars arc, which is pretty good. <laughs> I think, like, season three might either be out or be in production. Ah, no, I feel like they're about there. 
which is honestly, if I remember right, that's a pretty good arc too. It's like, I gotta ca- yeah, I gotta, I gotta catch up on a lot of stuff, but instead, I started watching Dragon Ball. Yeah, I feel like the point where I like stopped reading the manga because I had some, like other things to do and stuff was like midway through the arc after what I assume is gonna be the season three arc that they'll probably finish in like you know that season. And that one was interesting. They find a way to introduce an evil scientist, and it gets really interesting. Oh, boy. (laughs) It's like they just go to a place, and there's just, like, a dude in a freaking biplane, like, charging them with a machine gun. And it's like, oh. Oh, crap. (laughs) See, there is delayed so much more posh, at least. Okay, alright, yeah. Makes sense. Oh, what are you saying? Oh, nothing. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Digimon. So, yeah, Digimon. I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, the kids yell insults at Calamarimon, and she's like, oh, I'll show you, and, like, does her spinny attack to try to crash down on the raft. <laughs> yeah. And then she flies away because she still doesn't have control over her bee spirit. I do like the bee plot of this episode, which is that it's like Ranamon just goes back to the lair of the villains. And she's like, okay, well, I finally got the bee spirit. Now I just have to train to control it. And she's like struggling to control the squid body and just like, you know, breaking all kinds of like walls and pillars and crap all over their base. And the entire time, Mercury Mon's just like, hey, shouldn't you do that somewhere else, though? Uh, yeah, maybe you, you should not. Yeah, can't you do that outside? And she's like, no, I got this. <laughs> and it's just this really fun little, like, B-plot where it's like, Ranamon is just casually destroying the Big Bad's hideout to, like, try and master her powers. And you just cut back, and she's like, I finally have full control, and I, it's time to destroy those children. And Mercury Mon's just staring at all the damage, just like, I, I can't believe you've done this. What the heck? Nah, he's, he's like, he's like, well, Im- Im- uh, immobile stone pillars aren't the same as, like, fighting those children. She's like, oh, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. Like the, these, both of these episodes have been Mercury Mon also trash talking random mine. Man, I have the impression Mercury Mon's just so done with this crap, and I He's kind of love it. All of my colleagues are idiots. Yeah. <laughs> He's like just the quiet, like scheming, like background, yo, know, like friggin' wobby final villain type of character, and the entire time he's like, I, no, please stop, though, no, don't. <laughs> please, I, listen to me, man, this is, like, doing so much, I, it's gonna take so long to rebuild this stuff. <laughs> oh, man. And I, I guess we have anything else to really say about this? Uh, yeah. Zephyr- That's about it. As do we want to talk about, like, Zephyrmon's design real quick, if nothing else? Because it's like, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, it's good. Yeah, I like it. The The boob armor is a bit, like, absurd, but also this entire design is absurd. But yeah, I think it looks cool enough. Yeah, I'm it's into about it. The, it's, about the, uh, it's, it's, it's about the design you would expect. Yeah. It does feel kind of weird that it's like she kind of became less naked and also more naked. Ah, no, it's very odd. It's like now you have the big <laughs> scarf and the face covering and stuff, but it's like you now have even more midriff, and it's like, jeez. Jeez, mm-hmm. Digimon. <laughs> this design doesn't have her eyes covered. Yeah. Yeah, that's a weird... Yeah, because I thought something felt off. It's like, yeah, because they, like, switched it. Yeah, and now it's her mouth that's covered. You it's, can see her eyes now. It's everything except for the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, I honestly really like the, like, you know, eye covering on, like, you know, Fairymon. Like, the whole, like, eye visor and the hair and stuff always looked really cool to me. 
Yeah. And I could see a version of this where they, like, kept the eye cover and found some way to, like, you know, like, just extend or whatever. But I guess that's not what the Beast Forms are really about. They're not really supposed to be, like, you know, like, better versions of the other ones. They're supposed to be, like, their own thing. And I feel like, you know, we've been getting that so far pretty, like, well. They're supposed to be side, like, side grades. But, but also yeah. they're not because the beast spirits are clearly stronger. Yeah, they're an upgrade, but they're not like a progression of the design, if that makes sense. At least for yeah. the most part, it feels like. Uh, so yeah, good episodes. I honestly like these a lot. Didron designs big, beefy monsters with guns, swords, and tits. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at this picture, I can't deny that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, good episodes. Really liked them. Um, I'm curious what's good be like when they finally make it to the marketplace. It's like, okay, well, we got our Digivices back, but Azumi is still the only one who can fight until she's not. Well, as of right now, the only problem they have to deal with is the Toucan Mon, and I'm pretty sure that she could deal with them as Fairy Mon. Yeah. As that is something else to mention, is that it's like, I don't know how long this plot point's going to last for, but this is like a really good sub to give the side characters something to do, right? Cause it's like, okay, how do you keep like Junpei and like the others from just curb stomping everyone we come across? And the answer is they don't have their powers. So now Izumi and Tomoki have to be the ones to save the day. Cause like, you know, they're gonna get their beast spirits and no one else is gonna be able to fight, right? And it's like, yeah, okay, makes perfect sense. <laughs>